Here we're told that a cannonball is launched off the edge of a cliff at an initial speed of 49.5 meters per second at this angle above horizontal. The ball is in the air for that amount of time. Find those things. Sometimes it's nice to just draw a picture so we can kind of get an idea of what's happening here. So here we have a cliff and we're launching the cannonball at an angle of 25.6 degrees above the horizontal and the initial speed is 49 and a half meters per second. As always, it's an important thing to define positive for the vertical direction. And so since this projectile is going in the upward direction, I'm going to say that upward is positive, which means that AY is going to be negative, 9.81, because the acceleration always points towards the Earth. One thing we want to find is we want to find the height of the cliff here, call it H. We want to find the range, which is how far it goes before it hits the ground down here, and we want to find the impact speed. Well, when you don't know what to do, do something. So let's find our initial x and y components of velocity. So vx is going to be 49.5 times the cosine of 25.6. And that comes out to be 44.64 meters per second. And that's constant, isn't it, the whole time. Let's find vy initial. Vy initial is 49.5 times the sine of 25.6, and I got that to be 21.39 meters per second upward. That's a positive number because you can see right here where I've circled, I've defined upward to be positive. Find the height of the cliff. All right, what variable over here is most closely related to the height of the cliff? Well, certainly it's nothing over here because this is all horizontal motion. And over here, the thing that's closest to the height of the cliff, isn't it dy? So we know vy initial. We know the time. It's in the air. We're told that it's in the air for 9.75 seconds. We know the acceleration. Let's calculate dy and see if that gives us any information that is going to be useful. dy is vy initial times time plus one half ay times time squared right from the equation sheet let's see what we get here vy initial is 21.39 the time is 9.75 plus one half be careful ay is negative we've chosen upward to be positive the acceleration vector points towards the Earth, therefore it's negative, 9.81, and then we have the time, 9.75 squared. When you calculate this out, what you get is negative 258 meters. Now what does that mean? What it means is that the vertical elevation has changed by this much in 9.75 seconds, which means that the height of the cliff is 258 meters. This cannonball, see on the left side of the screen, it goes up, 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 then it comes down, 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 thunk, and it's in the air for 9.75 seconds, and in that 9.75 seconds, the amount that its elevation has changed by is 258 meters. It's 258 meters below where it was. Well, that therefore is the height of the cliff. Okay, so that's great. What else are we supposed to find? We're supposed to find the range. Well, the range typically is an easy one, isn't it? Right here, Vx times time. So the range, Vx times time, what's Vx? 
44.64 meters per second to the right every second for 9.75 seconds to three significant figures that comes out to be 435 meters that wasn't so bad and we're supposed to find one more thing and what's that the impact speed the speed at impact well when this thing hits the ground are we agreed that it is going to be going kind of like that Bunk. and the x component of that velocity is unchanged throughout the whole motion of this cannonball that's vx we calculated that right at the beginning so to find the speed that this thing is going to hit at what we need to find is we need to find what the vertical velocity is right at that moment to find vy final what have we said i think we actually said it in the video right before this one we're going to use this top equation right here ay is equal to vy final minus vy initial divided by time solve that for vy final multiply both sides by t and add vy initial to both sides let's calculate this vy initial was positive 21.39 but again ay is negative and the time that it's in the air is 9.75 seconds when you calculate that that comes out to be negative 74.26 meters per second why does it come out negative because way back when we were young right here i'm pointing at it it's in the lower left corner of the screen we said upward was positive when this cannonball hits, it's definitely moving kind of downward. It's moving to the side also, but it's also moving downward. So you can see this triangle is not a very good triangle because the length of this leg has a magnitude of 74.26 meters per second. We're asked to find just the speed. So we only need to use the Pythagorean theorem here. We don't have to use the inverse tangent function. So V... I'll go ahead and show the workout uh, here, even though I trust that you can do it on your own. I'm going to square both of those legs of the triangle, take the square root, and when you do that to three significant figures, you get 86.6 .6 meters per second. That's the impact speed that this cannonball is going to hit at. If I had asked you to find what's the angle here, then you would have to use the inverse tangent function, but since it says only speed, we don't have to do that.